Hey YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Night Edition. This guy has the 5.7 liter e-torque Hemi and an 8-speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front with the Night Edition, you are going to get blacked out headlights as well as taillights, black grille, and black wheels. All of the badging on the vehicle is going to be black as well. Halogen headlights, parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Right here we have your 1500 Hemi e-torque badge, 20 inch black wheels on some Bridgestone Dueler Alenzas and the tire size is a 275-55R20. Black plastic splash guards, black Ram badge and mirror caps. Absolutely massive cab. This guy does have the rear wheel well liners. Again, more splash guards right here. Parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Black dual exhaust tips. Here's your receiver hitch and your four pin and seven pin connectors. Four by four badging, blacked out Ram logo, backup camera, big horn. And this is the, they consider this the black style halogen tail lamps. Right over here, we have your capless fuel fill port. Spotter mirrors on both driver and passenger side as well. Very, very sporty looking truck. The black on silver looks absolutely amazing. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off on the left hand side, we have your lock and unlock buttons. All of the window controls, the driver and passenger window are automatic up and down. In front of that, you have your mirror controls. This guy does have power folding mirrors. Right here, we have your rotary dial selector for the exterior lights. And then to the right of that, we have the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster. Underneath that, we have your electronic parking brake. And then to the right of that, we have your power adjustable pedals. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, beautiful LCD screen in the middle. Each of the four corners is customizable to monitor whatever parameter you wish. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel. This control pad right here controls the center LCD display. To the right of that, we have your hands-free call buttons. Over here, we have your cruise control buttons, and then under that, we have your gear limiter. Just like on all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the right side of the steering wheel. This vehicle has push button start. Up top, you have a shallow storage tray with a 12 volt outlet. This plastic, almost granite looking trim. Under that, we have your beautiful 8.3 or 8.2 inch Uconnect touchscreen display. You can obviously control your heated steering wheel and seats from here, as well as monitor your high resolution backup camera. This does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. Very responsive, very high definition. I absolutely love the touchscreen in this vehicle. Under that, you have physical buttons for the audio, volume knob, tune knob, mute button, screen off button. Hazard lights are in the middle. Heated seats and steering wheel buttons. I love the physical buttons for the redundancy. Dual zone climate control, traction control off, tow haul mode, parking sensors for the rear off, parking sensors for the front off. Under that you have a storage compartment right here. Two USB-C's, two USB's as well as an auxiliary jack, and then a phone storage tray. Rotary dial shifter is going to be right here, and then your push button transfer case is going to be to the left of that. Because this is an e-torque equipped truck, automatic start stop button is going to be right there. It is on by default. Coming back to the uh, little center console area, this is a three position center console. We are currently in the first position, which gives us full access to the cup holders, change storage, as well as storage tray. Put it in the second position. We have access to just the cup holders as well as the 115 volt 400 watt power outlet 
and then push it to the third position and we have access to just the storage compartment. Uh, I have seen online that this fits a 12 pack of whatever drinks you would like perfectly. Ram thought of everything. Here is the leather uh, armrest slash center console. It is two tiered. First tier is shallow, which gives us access to a USB port with a cutout for cord management. Second, gives us access to a deeper storage bin. This little divider right here, if you can see it, has the previous four generation of Ram 1500 truck on it, which is pretty cool. And then on the back, they give you some trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversions, as well as your fraction to decimal conversions. Here are the cloth seats in this vehicle. Pretty standard. This guy does come with all weather floor mats from the factory. Two glove boxes. First one is gonna be right here. Push it, it is LED lit. Second one's gonna be right here. Halogen lit. Up top in the vanity, it is halogen lit for a passenger as well as driver. The driver vanity has a three door universal garage remote. Up top right here, we have your halogen dome map light controls, as well as the master controls for the dome map lights. This button controls the power sliding rear view window. In front of that, you got glasses storage, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, pretty impressed with this interior. Uh, I do not know why they, they mix LEDs and non-LEDs. That is the one thing that I just thought of that is kind of frustrating. I wish everybody would just go to LEDs at this point, but... With that being said, let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. So before I get in, I want to point out how massive these doors are and they open at almost a 90 degree angle. So if you have little kids or big items you want to put in here, you can do that easily. These seats do fold up, giving us access to more storage. Again, all weather floor mats, Ram second generation of in-floor storage on both driver and passenger sides. This is removable and you have centimeter markings on the short side, inch markings on the long side. Getting up and in is easy with the grab handle. And with the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have easily a foot of leg room before my knees hit the front seat. I am 5'11 for reference. Right here you have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with a cutout for a tablet, shallow storage tray, two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Tons and tons of room back here, it's crazy. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder setup. And because this doesn't have a moonroof or sunroof, they do give the front occupants and the rear occupants more headroom, which is always appreciated integrated hanger hooks on both passenger and driver's side. And then your halogen dome map light is gonna be in the middle. Let's take a quick look at the bed. So to open the tailgate on this vehicle, you're just gonna come up to it, push the button, and it's gonna drop for you. It is assisted, it is very light, relatively speaking. Four tie down points, one in each of the four corners. Very nice. And because this is aluminum, all the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, meaning the hood, all four doors, and the tailgate. I can take two fingers, close the tailgate with ease. Let's take a closer look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. There is some tint on the rear glass, so I will go over the key features. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $43,240. Optional equipment's all right here or standard equipment's all right here. Optional equipment starts on this page and transitions over onto this page. Most notably, you have the Bighorn Package 27Z and the Night Edition Package for $2,100. This has the Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group for $2,500, and you have a $1,995 upcharge for the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. This guy does include a package value savings of $2,300, for a total price of $52,060. Your fuel economy rating is gonna be right here. This vehicle is rated at 17 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 19 miles per gallon.
I want to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2021 Ram lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Andrew Johnson know that you saw the YouTube video and he will be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. In the comment section below, tell me what your favorite feature of this vehicle is and why. And if you enjoy the video, please consider giving me a like and share. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.